starting off the new year sweaty. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to another Rena K YouTube video. First, like to say thank you and welcome to all my new subscribers that came here after watching my guest video on Jennifer McGuire's channel. I hope you all enjoy the content that I post as much as I enjoy making it. I'm back from a long winter break of traveling and going to creativation with my family. Started my second semester of college and I'm ready to get back into the grind of things. So starting off the new year, I have a fun technique that I don't think anyone has done because it's a little complicated and there's probably a stencil you can find and do it easier, but if you don't have a stencil like I don't, you can follow along with this tutorial to make this super fun card. And hopefully I don't mess it up on the last step like I did when I was testing out the card. Okay, so here are the products that we are going to be using. I have a few more out of frame, but I will add them to the equation soon. These are the inks we're going to be using. This is Sea Glass, Bubblegum Pink, and Sweet Corn. These are some Prismacolored pencils that I'm going to be using to color in our image once we stamp it. This is a 3 and 3 quarter square that I will be using in the 3 and 3 quarter wreath builder, as well as a piece of paper that we will be using to create our background design. And then this is our layering card. And then here I have quarter inch strips cut out from normal paper which is also what we're going to be using to create our design on the back. Over here I have the Gina K Designs and Thermal Web square small set double stitch design die set and I will be using the medium square in the center. And then I will be using the Mandala Maker which is a stamp set designed by yours truly. I'll be using the largest circle, and it's just going to be a simple like spiral graph pattern, so it won't take that long, and it's just going to be fun to color in. Oh, well, that ruined everything. I will also be using some of my ink daubers. That was my resolution to clean them, but you know what? Sometimes you can't take resolutions that seriously because they're not realistic. I also will be using a greeting from the stamp set Assorted Greetings, right here. I have it labeled. And for the colored pencils, I will be using Gamsol to blend them out. So, to start off with this card, we are going to be creating the background design. Oh, there's a hair. For all my newcomers, that is a common occurrence here. Okay, so I put a piece of scrap paper on the background to not ruin my beautiful desk mat that already has some stains here and there, but we're going to ignore that. So first thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of sticky dot tape and tape this in place. This is important because you don't want it to shift around at all. And then I'm going to tape around the outside. Oh, jeez. This piece of paper has been used a couple times. Then I'm going to blow all the hairs off the piece of paper. Now I'm going to take my little strips and I'm going to place them all over the card. Now you probably can find a stencil or something with this kind of pattern already pre-made on it, but your girl does not have the resources for that, so we are going to make one on our own. I'm going to place one there. I cut about six strips for this. You can decide how many you want. I like to make them all going different directions. There we go. Okay, I don't like that. Give me a second here. Maybe one more coming off of here. And if you want to overlap them, just add, oop. So the best part about sticky dot tape is you can rub it off if you mess up. Though, try not to mess up. You are careful. You can avoid this step completely. Okay, make sure they're very taut because you will be inking over these and it could be troublesome if it's not down all the way. Take a quick second of your time to glue your thumbnail back on because you're living a lie and your nails underneath are stumps. So I'm gonna start with my bubblegum pink ink. I'm gonna start on this side and blend it to a little over a third of the way. Don't press down too hard, but you do want to ink it up thoroughly. 
Don't be afraid to go over it a couple times. Okay, so this area might be a little bit more difficult, so just take your time. Be gentle. Okay, so I tried to soften it in this area because I'm going to be blending that with my sweet corn and that will create an orange color because I passed kindergarten art class and I know that red tones and yellow tones make orange tones. This is more of like a pastel kind of orange though. Make sure you blend it lightly. You don't want like a violent line between the two colors. Ease into it. Oh, okay, problem solved. And our last step in this process is to take the sea glass and I'm not going to start on the yellow part because that might be a little too strong. So I'm going to start on the far left side. I had to retake this because I said right side because I don't know which way right and left is. Oh, come on. You can also put your hand on this. I actually recommend that. And rotate it closer to your hand. See, we're all figuring out how to make it easy together. And as you blend with the yellow, it's going to make a light teal green color because once again I have graduated an art class in my life and just lightly blend it into the yellow remember blue is an aggressive color don't be afraid to go back over with the yellow it can make a difference we'll blend it a little more and it'll deepen the yellow okay so that's what it looks like so far and now I'm going to just peel these parts off clearly this one wants to come off first so we'll do that these strips might not make it, so just let them die. I cut these off of um, a scrap piece of paper, so it's okay. Now you can see a perfect pattern that you meticulously created without a stencil. Okay, so our next step involves a pen like this. This is a Pentel sign pen, but you can use any black marker. You can use a Sharpie. I recommend something that dries quickly and doesn't smear because if you smear this part of your project, your head will explode. I recommend using a piece of scrap paper or a ruler. I used a ruler and it kind of smeared my last project, so I don't really like that, but this is my best method. So we're going to line up the edge of these lines and you can have a little bit coming off the edge because you're gonna make a thick line and you're gonna just draw and outline these lines like so and you're gonna see how bold this makes the pattern and I'm gonna make them overlap because whenever I try to like make lines look like they're coming over each other I always forget on the last stroke and just create the whole line and then it all looks like a mess so we're just gonna make it easy on my stupid brain and just overlap all of them if the lines are uneven it's okay you're a human being the only person that can judge you is God you know what you're probably not giving him the card anyway okay good start oh look at that diamond also if you're worried about smearing just like rub against the paper because sometimes it can carry wet ink if you're dragging it across a piece of paper. Please learn from my mistakes and save yourself the aneurysm. My house smells like gravy right now. Oh, it's going so well. Please, please keep it up, Rena. Please don't mess this up for the love of God. Don't mess this up. Okay, last one. This is probably the harder one to do. So just line it up. Line up the edge with um, one of the lines you've already created get low but not low enough that your scalp gets into the frame okay so now that we have that all outlined we are just gonna finish with some random lines all over I'll try to make them irregular from the lines you've already created and you can go back and do them again after you've messed up really layer it up there don't be afraid to make the lines bolder than others Sometimes in life you gotta be a little bit bolder than others. Okay, I think I did it. I think I did it without messing up. So that's what that looks like. And now we can put that away. So this is my wreath builder stencil. I've already placed the circle where I want it to go. It's a little bit above the center horizontal line and it's in line with the vertical line. That's how I like to do most of my mandalas and wreaths. So we're gonna take a piece of paper that's cut to the wreath size, drop it in there, 
And then I'm going to be using the Gina K Amalgam Ink. This works with all coloring mediums. If you don't believe me, try it for yourself. And we're going to go all the way around the wreath stencil. That's all diamond orientations, which is this, and all square orientations, which is the one I just did. Okay, so that is our finished look. Now I'm going to color it. Ha! Huh? So that is my finished colored image. I just did what I normally do. I usually color a line along the edge of the part of the shape I'm trying to color, and then I blend towards the other side. So that's what this looks like. I scrapped using the green colored pencil just because I wanted to keep these three colors unified. And I know this isn't the color of the sea glass, but I don't really have a colored pencil that matches the sea glass, so we're gonna pretend it looks nice. So now what I'm gonna do is line up my... Ooh, that fits perfectly! I love when things work out. So we're gonna put that through my Big Shot and then I will show you what it looks like cut out. I'm also gonna add a piece of black layering with an eighth of an inch edge, you could say, um, just to make it look pretty. So I'll do that right now. Okay, so I mounted this on some black cardstock. I made this little greeting with the medium sized dot from the Mandala Maker and a little hello from the Assorted Greetings stamp set. And now we are going to mount this onto our card. This is where everything falls apart usually. So now I'm going to put this off to the side, about here, so you can really see how much those blues do not match cute. And finally, I'm going to secure this greeting with some 3D foam squares that Mishi kindly chewed in half. You know how fluffy he is and how sticky these things are? Okay, so that is our finished card. You can also use the blue raspberry ink by Gina K, and that would match this color more, but it's a little too late to go back. So this is the finished card. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was super fun to make. A little stressful here and there, but you know what? That's stamping sometimes, and especially stamping with me. So for my newcomers that don't know, I do a giveaway on every video that I make, usually every video, because I like to give stuff away. My mother is the Oprah of the stamping world, and I am no different. To be entered in the giveaway, you have to answer my question of the video. And my last question was, are you good at wrapping presents? And the winners of that giveaway are right here. So if you see your name here, remember to submit I Won the Rena K giveaway to info at GinaKDesigns.com. We will send you your products right away. For this week's giveaway, I'm doing another $25 gift certificate because I don't have anything planned yet. But for next week's giveaway, I have a really cool giveaway, so stick around for that. And to be entered in this week's giveaway, answer the question, what are your New Year's resolutions? As I mentioned before, mine was to clean my ink daubers before this video, and as you can see, it didn't happen. So hopefully I'll get it together before next year, and just comment below your resolutions and you can possibly win the giveaway. So that's all I got for this video. Um, I'm starting school and I'm trying to get back into a routine, so videos will probably be posted weekly again. I have shows coming up, so it's going to be difficult, but I'll do my best. I am only one Rena running this whole thing, and that's not saying much because sometimes it's not the best quality. <laughs> but yeah, besides that, thank you guys for subscribing if you guys are new, and thank you guys for sticking around if you've been here before, and I can't wait to make more videos for the next year. Okay, bye!